Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is April 20th, uh, apparently a special day here, as some people may celebrate. Uh, I'm going to do an extra premium problem because I, if you kind of look at this page, does it show up here? Well, now it does. Uh, I have a lot of undone ones, uh, unfinished business, as you will. So let's take a look. Let's get started and let's do a problem that I haven't done yet, a premium medium, say, for today. Just kind of, you know, hopefully not an SQL question because there's so many of them. All right, let's do it. Find the number of visible mountains. So you give a zero index 2D array. Yet again, another, you know, uh, dubious ratio ones, but we'll see. Also, I think that, um, you know, this is a 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, huh, okay. Um, nice number. But uh, it seems like, you know, maybe it's a more, uh, it's a better practice for recent uh, lead code contest difficulty. So we'll see if this is actually true. Um, that's what, you know, I suspect anyway. Oh, I have to turn on my watch. My watch keeps on pinging me. And anyway, so you're given a zero index 2D integer away peaks where peaks of i is equal to x sub i, y sub i, i, okay. What does that even mean? Oh, that's just the top of the thing. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, amount can be described as a da 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 da. Amount is considered visible, okay. The gradient of, oh, okay. we turn the number of naked visible mountains. Hmm. <clears throat> um, I think you, for this one, you have to make some observations. Um, I think one thing that I'm trying to think in my head and whether I can prove it is another story is whether a triangle can be covered as a sum of two triangles, right? And in my mind, I cannot find a counter example. <clears throat> Let me actually draw it out for so that I could show you what I mean, or maybe I'll just use it as a sketch thing. Hang on. Um, because if that's the case, it reduces the difficulty significantly, right? Um, let me also make sure that you can see it because in that we are silly like this. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, so you have something like this, right? So basically, the, I, the question I have is whether you can, and f into this, like just thinking in my head, I was like, I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Let's say you have this triangle, right? Well, is there a condition in which, you know, there could be like some, you know, something like that, that kind of adds up to it, but it doesn't seem like it because in a weird way, or not weird way, but in a rotated way, these are all axis aligned, right? And what I mean by that is that if we just kind of rotate 45 degrees, now instead of triangles, you have, uh, and let's just say even, let's just say for symmetry reasons, you can even make them squares, right? If you have squares, uh, let's say you have something like this. Uh, and then the green one is something like this. I guess my hypothesis sounds more right now, now that I visualize it out. Let's have something like this, right? And pretend they're all squares, I'm drawing a tail blade. The idea is that, and, be, and there is an additional constraint versus just regular squares, so it's not just that, but can there be a thing where, you know, like it could be d -d 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 -d, maybe something like that, and then like this part is like some weird triangle, right? But I don't think so. I don't know if there's a principle or something that like, you know, but like because if something contains this part, right, then it has to either, you know, something like this, right? Uh, like there's no like, you cannot draw a triangle that looks maybe something like, you know, like weird, like do, 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 where where this triangle is not part of the the some other triangle. So, okay. So I think my point there, and I don't know if I did a good job establishing it, is that is that if uh, if a triangle is covered, it's only going to be covered by um, one other triangle. Or not that it only gets covered by one triangle, but more that um, more that one triangle will be covered. Like there's no composition, right? Uh, one triangle will always be holding within another triangle. Okay. Um, and maybe that's obvious. I don't know, but but for me. Uh, th these are things that I try to prove and also to be honest though some of it is that this is a medium so in theory you can maybe like do some mental hacks and cheating and, or not cheating but just like guessing on the difficulty and stuff like that and I'm trying not to do that so so that's why I, I, I'm you know 
definitely trying really hard for it. But, uh, but yeah, okay. <clears throat> oh, th this is a weird case. Mm. Uh, and n is 10 to the fifth, so that's a little bit annoying because you can't do the n square one. Um, okay. Uh, my first thing that I would do is oh the very common thing that I do in these kind of problems especially now that you're given a number line is a scan line algorithm so um, I'm trying to think whether um, like let's say we sort it on X right do things have to be adjacent I don't know I don't think so but I am trying to prove or like in my head, not you know, when I say proof, I don't mean like a definitive mathematical proof, but just like at least like something convincing for me to at least like play around with. Um, and you have to do something like that anyway, because n is ten to the fifth. So to be honest, and some of this is like you know thinking about the constraints. It's either it's going to be sorting and you do adjacent ones, or it's going to be something stack based. Um, but this thing makes the stack based thing tricky because now you have no representative almost right because they annihilate each other but <laughs> i think one thing that you can based off what we just said about the observation one additional thing that you can notice is that is that you can represent the the, peak, the mountain just by its peak, meaning that if the peak is within another triangle, then the entire triangle is within th that entire triangle. Um, so therefore, you don't have to do like a lot of crazy maths. Um, and here, in that case, they're just deduped in that sense. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think whether it makes sense to scan left to right or like top to bottom or something like this, to be honest. I think top to bottom doesn't really make sense, but... <clears throat> and I'm trying to think whether uh, there's some... So I said that maybe it's a stack or sorting, but another thing that you can think about is maybe some kind of uh, structure where you can... Um, where you could do log n queries, right? This is kind of a hard problem, I think. Or like, I don't know, maybe um, it, it, this is one of those problems where you look at someone's solution and maybe it's like 10 lines or 20 or 15 lines or something. 10 to 15 lines and you're like, oh, this is obvious, this is easy. But then like the process of coming up with it is kind of hard and it's kind of... um deceptive in a way I mean I'm I've been talking for eight minutes I have no code so you know the, another way that I'm thinking about it to be honest uh, which is why I'm pausing a little bit and just trying to think through it a little bit is a scan line but not on x or y but on the diagonal so then you could do maybe two that two scans one on the x is equal to y I don't know if this is this is probably mirrored but pretend this is x equal to y and then another one on x is equal to negative y right and then kind of scan it that way or, and then the other way, right? Um, but basically my idea here is that let's say we have this point at 2, 2, right? At node, um, then everything, we're just trying to find if there's another peak that is, that is um, on that, uh, on the left side, or, or on the, um, hmm, how do I say it quite precisely? Right. All right, let me let me just bring up the drawing again. Maybe that's a little bit uh, clearer. Because I think I'm just, you know. All right. This is from before. But basically, the idea that I'm thinking of now is that let's say you have... Um, let's say you have this point here, right, as the peak. And we draw the point, something like this. 
uh, then in that case, that means that we want to find whether there's a peak um, that dominates this pyramid. And in that case, that is if um, that is if a point exists in inside this segment, right? Because if there's a peak that's here or here or here, then it 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 creates a pyramid that intersects or not just intersects, but uh, you know, uh, actually, um, you know, yeah. <clears throat> And now this gives a way if, uh, but this is such a hard way to do it. That's why I'm like kind of doubting it a little bit because I feel like maybe there is an easier one. But then I think recently the newer lead code problems, they have like, sometimes they use weird data structures. And because for this, in theory, what I would do is maybe do one of the two, one of the couple of things I could do is like quad tree, KD tree or something like this. And these things don't mean anything to you. That's fine because they're very, uh, relatively more advanced and, uh, you know, like, they're not going to show up on interviews generally unless, I don't know, maybe we're doing something with computational geometry or something like this, right? And the idea here is just um, uh, uh, just doing a point query or a search query, right? Because then now you could pre-process everything and then if there's anything within these, um, you know, this, this quadrant, um, you know, there's there's at least one because that's the point you query for. And then there's two, then you could remove it. So basically you pre-process everything and maybe say n log n time, and then you do it another time and n, n log n, and that should be fast enough using something like a KD tree or a quad tree or, or one of those many, many uh, uh, ge uh, uh, computational geometry uh, log n e trees, right? Um, and there are a number of those. So yeah, that's basically what I want to do. But, eh, is that easy to do? I don't know. What? So I'm rubbing my eyes. Of course, the other way of doing that is what we said earlier with the scan line. Because then, if we do a scan line, then you keep the structure and then maybe do it in a quick way. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to do it that way. I think the scan line makes sense. I'm going to do it twice, sort by x, y, and then, um, and then, or x is equal to y, and then the other one by x is equal to negative y, and then, um, yeah. Let me just do it real quick. So first, we want to sort this by, um, p is equal to, so p sub 0 minus p sub one, I think, is how you sort by x is equal to y. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're going to sort both. So let's print it out real quick. Um, I'm, I'm exploring this implementation just as much as you, so definitely be a little bit patient, please. Uh, oh, yeah. We... <coughs> okay. So then now, okay, so we, now we sort everything p equals y. Okay, that's good. Because um, then now, let's say we have... For x, y in peaks, what do we do? Uh, Cause then now we assume everything is. The reason why we uh, scan line works the way that uh, let me actually bring back the thing again because I feel like this part. I mean, I have the visualization. Why not, right? So basically, the idea here is that let's say you have another thing that's here, and then now your scan line is going this way, right? Mm, change colors. It's going this way, say, right? Um, and the idea is that now everything that you've seen before is going to be on everything that you've seen. Let's say you're checking this point now. Everything that you've seen before will be on on the uh, on this side, right? So then now you just have to see if there's any point on this side, right? Um, so that's basic. So and here you can do a log n query or something like this, probably. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 okay, so then now let's say we have, how, I, I just want, uh,
Uh, I think we need a sorted list, but I think visual say uh from, from sorted containers. Uh, I think it makes sense for me, but <laughs> making sense doesn't make it easy to implement. Um, hopefully the visual, oh, hopefully the visualization uh, makes sense though, because that's what I'm basically. This is lo the logic that I'm trying to implement, and for medium, this is pretty hard to be honest. Uh, like I don't know if I would be able to do this on a contest in a reasonable time. Um, I mean, maybe a little bit faster because I'm not explaining, but also like I don't know. Unless there's a I don't know. Maybe there's a user solution, but but in any case, um, yeah. Okay. So now we. What do we want to put in there? All right. So basically, let's say we have zero or we have two two, which is point zero. We want to. Everything that we've seen before is already to the left. The way that we're doing it. So then now we're just trying to see if anything's to the to the right of it, right? And to the right of it, if we're at 2-2, two, two, we're searching for 3-3. Three, three, four, 4-4, four, maybe 3-4. So everything that's greater than on the... Uh, everything where y minus... How do you do it? Hmm. I have to do visualization, but I have to do the math. The math is hard. Um, basically, you want something where the 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 other slope is um, <clears throat> so we want something that way of it, right? And that way of it, another way of expressing it. Is the diff? It's like it's. I mean, I actually kind of know this one, but it's something like uh, we want to search for something like this, maybe. Because basically, because then now you have one three. But it feels a little bit off. Two one is no good. One two is no good. I'm just like manually trying to figure out all the points of three D is good. I think this is right, but this is also like ridiculous to kind of do, right? Anyway, so yeah, so then now we have sl dot add this this thing, but before that we search um, sl dot um, I mean this is fine. This is fine in a way, but it it doesn't catch all the edge cases is why I'm worried. What I mean by that is basically this case because they perfectly overlap each other, which is a little bit weird. Because um, then they, they cancel both of them out instead of like one of them, uh, uh, whatever. Uh, it's such a weird edge case to be honest. Uh, and that's why I'm like, otherwise you could do something like this. Okay, maybe I'll just try to f solve it for the first one and then um, and then try to see, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I guess this only comes up if they're identical, so maybe I could do something to uh, for, fix that, but uh, that's such a weird edge case. Okay, fine. Um, okay, so yeah, so... So basically, if there's at least one element, uh, or how does this go? If index, if this, that means that there's no elements, so then that means that this item is good. Um, so then in theory, eh. I feel like, eh. I feel like this is very awkward. 
Um, <sighs> okay, I mean, fine. Uh, basically, this is... Yeah, okay, fine. Um, just like, I'm, I'm just adding an uh, the index here so that we can keep track of what's good later. Which is we're gonna say uh, covered or something like this, right? <clears throat> that means that we didn't find anything, so this is good. So then uh, let's just say if th this is less than that, then uh, then covered of um, this is i. Oh, also this is x y. Whoops, x plus y. Kind of not consistent here, to be honest. Cover of i is equal to true, right? <clears throat> okay, let's see if this works a little bit. Okay. Mm. Isn't quite. Oh no, yeah, because. No, this should. Oh, no, 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 this is finding out if another number, another thing covered it. Uh, oh, 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 this, no, oh, hmm. Oh, no, no, this is the initial thing. Okay, six, three, okay, yeah, yeah, this is right. Because that's the only thing that got covered. Okay, this is all, this is what we expect. So, yeah, and then, so this is for one dimension of one of the things. And then now we want to uh, do the other direction. And really the same idea, but now we're sweeping the other way, right? And then now just one more is just trying to find duplicate points. Um, basically, um, eh. uh, mm, eh. Uh, of course, I meant this. Uh, well, one still is fine, but if you have more than one, then we need to dedupe it. Then, uh, <clears throat> and then now we just count, return, is it count or sum or whatever? Hmm. Oh no, uh, length of Something like this. Oh no, uh, if not x, I guess. Mm, what did I mean? Did I mean count? I could do the sum. Okay, fine. This is sum. Okay. <clears throat> Am I confident this works? No. Am I submitting it? Yes. Oh no. Hmm. Uh, okay, well, let me, uh, can you see it? Okay, yeah, okay. Um, I'm just gonna bring it out of the notepad a little bit with my pencil though. Mm. Hey, 
Mm. So yeah, 38. So expect two to be shown. Okay, I mean that makes sense maybe. So you have 38, 26. I can't do math. All right, whatever. Let, let's just do the visual debugging. Uh, you said. Maybe I did the other one wrong, which is possible. <clears throat> So this one is covered and this one is covered is what it thinks. Why? Tell me why. Or it's not this part, but I don't know if this part is right because I didn't look at it, but mm. maybe it's y minus x. I didn't really, uh, I did it for symmetry reasons, but I didn't really do it for, why did that f f change that to wall? Hmm. I didn't prove this part though, so hmm, it's possible that this is wall. And it is, but you know. I'm too lazy to visualize this, but okay, 38, 26 is 38, 26, and then 3, 32, okay. And then 2, 1, 2, 1 is covered, that makes sense, 3, 32, I don't know why that guy's covered. Hmm. And it's south here, right? Okay, so let's. Sorry, I'm like half sneezing. Still gotta. I'll shoot! No! I'll shoot! No! Still got allergies. I'll uh. shoot! Oh. oh man, excuse me. Okay, so we sort it this way. This goes here and it goes, okay, you know, good. Might as well add more debugging. Did I print it three times? Why did it show it three times? Oh no, I did print it three times here, okay. So this is the one that messes it up. <laughs> so we sort it by, okay, let's debug that part then. <laughs> okay, so we go here. It may be that I did the direction wrong, to be honest. Uh, like this should be zero or something like this, uh, but or I guess y minus x maybe to be honest the other way, but I thought that was my first inclination, but it seems a little bit weird. Okay, so two one okay, three thirty two. This thinks that this is wrong because x minus y is very negative. Okay. Hmm. Did we just fix it? And we, I know that it didn't, but because it also breaks that one. Because then now this searches it. Oh, I see. I think I just sorted it well. I need to just sort by the other. Because um, I think I want to. So I want to go this way. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, I want to go this way, but I think I was sorting it by that way. Oh, maybe not. There are a lot of possibilities. I guess there were really only four of them, but I... I... Um, to be honest, okay, that was just like trial and error. <laughs> I mean, I knew that there was only four of them, but I just... And you could actually do the math to find that. 
But, you know, um, I don't know. <laughs> Math is hard. All right, so I did get it. Uh, I, mean, I didn't get it in the first try because I didn't. I was too lazy to actually do it correctly, which is to actually like think through which direction and stuff like this and sorting. I was just like, you know, just kind of cranked it out, to be honest. So that was really sloppy on my part. But the idea was good, though. Uh, you can see, I mean, this is kind of hard, to be honest. Uh, how, how long do we have it? Uh, 30 minutes, Jesus. Um, geez, Louise. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see if there's a easier way. Maybe there's a easier way. Uh, oh, I thought there was a monotonic stack solution, but this seems way harder. So by X. Huh. See, that, that's the part I didn't know how to prove. That's why. But um, anyway. Uh, whoops. Well, if anything, uh, it shows that you know, there are many ways to do this kind of problem, and huh, I guess people just did really do. Uh... I don't know. Well, like I said, there are many ways to do this. Apparently, I chose a really complicated way, but uh, it works. It works. But yeah, um, cool. That's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you did it, uh, if you tried, and let me know what you think. But uh, this is a hard medium for me, though. So, yeah, I am tired. I'm going to go watch some NBA. I'll see you later. Stay good. Stay healthy. to good mental health. Goodbye and take care. Boop, boop.